Good morning, folks. <clears throat> Happy Tales Tuesday. Today, Eric and Tony Lord, <coughs> Tales of Legendia. At the last stream, we finished Chloe's revenge arc. <laughs> in which she didn't actually truly get, like, concrete revenge. Like, she didn't kill the dude, but, like, she, she confronted her feelings. Because she never really wanted to, like, kill him. I guess, but you know how it goes. <clears throat> Personally, she's a better person than I am because I would have killed the motherfucker. <laughs> but uh, so it goes. Anyway, we'll be continuing post game stuff, and um, yeah, still fundraising to help my friend Hachiko. He's still working to get back on his feet, get settled in, get get a job, all that stuff. So. I'm trying to help raise money and awareness for that. I have his coffee link on my layout, as you'll see very soon. I also have a command every once in a while in the chat. Yeah, I know I closed chat because it was it's doing it was doing weird shit. <laughs> I've got command every so often in my chat from the chat bot, and I also have a command that you can enter if need be. <clears throat> Any support to him is greatly appreciated. All right. I love the I love the tales of intros. It also gives me an excuse to like quickly just shove breakfast food in my mouth <laughs> while the intro is happening. So we're gonna we're gonna mute up and we're gonna get ready for that. Ah. All right, you're surely gonna think that. Oh, wake up, Seno. It's morning. Promise to check in on Elsa today. Remember? 
<sighs> Fine, I'm going on ahead. Be waiting at the fountain. Hurry up, okay? You can just wake him up. You know, you're allowed to do that, right? <clears throat> oh. H hello. H hi. Mm, would you like to have a seat? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Are you waiting for someone? Yeah, Sinnel. We're going to see how else is doing. She's doing much better. Once she gets her strength back, she'll be as healthy as can be. Hmm, I heard that Elsa and Arwen decided to stay in town. Yeah, I asked them to myself. Alcott's knowledge of medicine will be a great help to the people here. Cool, just certain he'll take his time. Hmm, yeah. But this may be a good opportunity. I wanted to talk to you, Shirley. Me too. It was thanks to you I was able to stay here. You're the one who made the decision. You helped me realize that this is where I belong. I'm very grateful. Chloe. I don't think I'd feel as good as I do now if I'd returned to the mainland. Once I let all my thoughts and emotions out, I felt free. <laughs> I can't win. What? Against the strength of your heart, Shirley. To tell the truth, I thought you were weaker than that. I seriously can't win. I envied you, actually. Sinnel seems so natural when he's talking with you. A trusted companion, an equal, someone close you can trust at your side. That's you, Chloe. I'm his equal? I felt that way ever since we first met. I'm just another one of the gang to him. What? <clears throat> I finally realized that after all this time. For me, I was happy just standing at his side, but I think that's as close as I'll ever get. Aw, Chloe. Just to be clear, I'm not saying I don't like standing alongside him. I'm proud that he trusts me as a partner. Still... The type of woman Sinnel likes is not one who fights at his side. When he and I stood together, it was obvious I was the only one who felt anything. Um, I need to apologize to you. I'm sorry for hitting you. It hurt, didn't it? Should you really be apologizing for that? <laughs> no, I guess not. Please forget I said that. It felt good being treated like it really mattered. You wouldn't have gotten angry like that if it didn't really care about me, right? <laughs> Emotions are weird like that, right? <laughs> I can't be angry at someone for doing the right thing. Besides, it didn't hurt at all. <clears throat> really? Yeah. In that case, I should confess, I hit you as hard as I could. What? <laughs> well, it didn't hurt, so it's okay, right? Oh, well, I suppose, but... <laughs> I never knew the two of us could talk like this. We should have done this sooner. We couldn't have never gotten given up these moments with you and the others. Mmm, Chloe. Why do you always start talking with um? You don't have to be so timid. Just come out and say what you have to say. You don't have to be so shy and formal all the time. Open up a little. Well, maybe it's just a small thing, but I think it's from small things like that that we form bonds with each other. A lot of times it is just a little things with people. More open. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I know. From now on, I'll call you C. <laughs> Hi, C. 
Th that is way too open. C, C, C! <laughs> Goobers. I'll never give up standing at Goja's side. I'll tell you that right now. Understood. Should we go to the hospital? The others are probably there already. Don't you want to wait for Coolidge? Nah, that sleepyhead will just have to take care of himself. Let's go, see? Right. Ah, uh, bonding. <clears throat> Instead, I'll just fucking asleep in this house. Surely. <laughs> They left without me. <laughs> Thankfully, I know where the hospital is. Mostly. Before that, though... Before we get whisked off, off on some bullshit adventure, let's go. Let's go to the item shop and refill on items, cause that Shadow Chloe fight was bonkers. Like either second hardest or hardest fight in the game so far. Based on my supply usage, it's probably second hardest, because, like... Hello, Hug Dispenser. Welcome. Yeah, I don't know. Like, yesterday, like, midstream, my Comcast decided I was having enough fun and disconnected for, like, five fucking minutes, so I was just kind of angrily staring at Minecraft. <laughs> it's good to see ya. Hope you are doing well. I know I don't really like. Oh, that's weird. I, w I wish there was more I could really do for you about that, but I don't know if there is, unfortunately. Oh, this guy. Oh, hello. You're the one who gave me directions before, correct? Eh, possibly. I mean, the queen is still dead, so the internet's like, oh, we gotta pay respects. <laughs> yeah, maybe. And the last with the lovely hair, is she not with you today? Do you see her? Ah, yes, I suppose not. This city certainly is quiet. It's quite boring, really, how peaceful it is. It's good that it's peaceful. I bet no one here would ever expect anyone to suddenly draw a weapon and attack. What are you trying to say? Oh, it's quite simple, really. The lives of those who have lapsed in the decadence of peace are utterly worthless. Come now, what's that look? It was just a joke of sorts. It's just a joke! XD. It wasn't funny. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I'm afraid I've got a bit of a sarcastic disposition. Although I did intend to upset you. What's so funny? Who are you? What did you come to the legacy for? Oh, I have my reasons, but I have no obligation to explain them to you. You'll find out soon enough, though. Let's just hope it's not already too late by then. So far, Legendia, I'd say I like it probably about as much as the other ones. Probably a little... Then how about we just take care of it right now? I think I'll pass. I prefer to leave some of the fun for later. Uh, I, pro I think I still would I think I still like Symphonia a little more, but that's also because, like, you know, nostalgia for, like, a million... The billion years I've played the damn game. But it, I like it well enough. It's good. It's got its own, it's got its own problems, because it's very different than a lot of them. But other than, otherwise, yeah, it's got some really cool character designs, really cool ideas. <clears throat> and 
It's got that early Tales kind of spice of just being weird, but also being kind of odd, like weird, not in great ways. Some it's it's old Tales of Senny, You're horrible. I can't believe you stood Shirley up. Despicable. <laughs> what is there something on my face? No, it's nothing. I would recommend playing it if you like Tales of games, because, I mean, I'm having a great time with it. Like, we're in post-game chapter, like, four or some shit now. Actually, something good happened because you were late, so it's okay. Thank you all so much for taking the time to come and see me. Like, we just finished Chloe's post-game, uh, revenge chapter. I feel it's because of the emulator, but, like, that dude's just off-screen. He's probably going to be coming walking in, like, a few minutes. He's gone. That's just wonderful. How can I ever thank you? Use your abilities to help as many people as you can. I will dedicate myself to that task. I'll help too. By the way, Arnold, do you know anything about that black mist we saw in the Forest of No Return? Ah, fair enough. Well, not, no time like the present. <laughs> that was the first time I've ever seen anything like that. I have no idea what it was. I'm sorry, I can't be of much help. Hmm, mist. Mist. It's like now I'm getting into Breath of Fire. And I never got into those. And I've been playing the shit out of the third game, the first game on Wednesdays. Ow! G, G Girl? Was that me just now? It felt like something from long ago appeared in my mind. Maybe you're finally getting your memory back. Keep trying, G Girl. Ow, we cheering for you too! Not like Moses cheering is gonna make a difference. Jay, that's rude. <clears throat> mm, so, what was it? How are we supposed to know? Who calls forth Volt? Was it you, Master? Oh, is your name Volt? I'm very pleased to meet you. She's talking to herself again. There just ain't no help on that woman. The red one is speaking rudely of you. Do you not mind? Oh, hmm. Should I mind? What happened to Grun? <laughs> she gets like this from time to time. We have no idea what causes it. Master, you seem different from before. Is something wrong? I apologize. I should have realized the circumstances when I first appeared. The immature state of this world is a clear enough sign. You and I can only exist in this form. Oh, is that so? That's amazing. I shall sleep until the time comes. What, what I'm taking from this, because we've seen her interact with some summon spirits before, is that she's like some sort of summoner. What's so amazing, Grun? Oh, what was it? <laughs> How could I have been, ever been the slightest bit amazing if you don't even remember it five seconds after you called it amazing? <laughs> Norma, thanks to your shouting, I've completely forgotten. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't blame it on me. Oh my, Volt Seed is in the urn. Where shall I plant it? Uh. Mo Moses! Oh, here comes Chubba. There he is! Chubba, what are you all worked up about? Don't shout, this is a hospital. I'm sorry, but this isn't the time to worry about that. Another one of our guys was attacked. What? Where? In the Misty Mountains. What are you talking about? The mountains that are misty? Like a lot of our guys have been getting attacked by monsters. Moses, is that true? Why didn't you tell us? W well, is there a reason you couldn't tell us? The monster has been attacking our guys looks a lot looks like a golf. Oh, just like Geet. You're not saying Geet. Oh, come on, there's no way Spot's such a softy. This is the seventh time one of us has been attacked. That many? Why did you keep this a secret? I didn't keep it a secret. There just wasn't any reason to talk about it. People seem to think Geet might be responsible, right? That's a pretty good reason to bring it up. It's just talk. Geet wouldn't do nothing like that. Where's Geet now? Ah, uh, well, looks like Moses doesn't know where he is either. What? Are you going to start accusing Geet too? Nobody's willing to say it out loud, but our guys definitely suspect Geet. They're looking for him right now, trying to figure out the truth. They can't just sit around and do nothing. Everybody's worried about him during turning wild. Turning wild? 
What are you talking about? Geet would never hurt his family. Y'all know that. I know better than anyone how close you and Geet are. But you can't just erase the fear of him turning wild. If you're that worried about it, I'll look into it myself. We'll go too. Senol. If Geet's been accused, then all we need to do is prove his innocence. It's, it's that easy, right? Guys. Please take me with you. I want to see with my own eyes so I can tell the rest of the guys the truth. Yeah, take a good look for yourself. Let's head for the Misty Mountains. Of Man and Beast. Character quest. Moses. I was wondering if he's had going to have a character quest. So in that case, probably all the characters are going to have a character quest. Good God, this is so much post-game. <laughs> I'm sure our party's still set up. Yep. That's still our preferred layout. <clears throat> so far, we've had one for Will, Chloe, and Norma, funny enough. Which means we still probably got, like, Moses is due, and then J Jesus Christ. Probably, like, at least, like, four more streams. <laughs> God damn. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Misty Mountains. Woo! I already bought items. Yeah, you know, like one of the one of the things this game does like weirdly slash differently than some of the older Tales of games is it has fast travel <clears throat> via the duct system, and that's something they brought back for later Tales games like Berseria and Zesteria, and I'm assuming Arise as well. Oh, look, it's Geet. Geet. There's something on his fangs and claws. Is it blood? Did he eat someone? Ah, <laughs> that couldn't be blood, could it? Oh, shit. He must have been fighting a monster or something. What? Now y'all are being called, too. Don't you, don't you trust Geet? <clears throat> of course we trust him. It's just... We just want to make a rational judgment. It's precisely in times like this we need to assess the situation accurately. If you ask me, come on, spit it out. Well, Geet is a golf after all. Jay, don't be racist. <laughs> no matter how strong your bond may be, no matter how connected you are, nothing can change that fact. Is it natural for a golf to be living together with humans in the first place? You ain't never got a kind word for anyone, do you, Jay? What have you seen after all this time, after everything we've been through? You've seen me and Geet together. This ain't got nothing to do with your stupid logic. Alright, that's enough, guys. Let's just go investigate, okay? Me and Geet will make quick work out of whatever monster is doing all this. After we do that, everyone can shut it. Let's go, Geet! Ah, uh, woo! <clears throat> He's so easy to read. He can't conceal his irritation at all. And that's why you can't help worrying about him, right? I'm not worried. You don't have to hide it. <clears throat> I mean, it's like his brand to be like a pain in the ass to fucking Moses. So he's like, I'm not worried. You're worried. Baka. <clears throat> huh? What's that? What's up, G-Girl? Where are we going? I said, the Misty Mountains. Get with the program. What? I'm with the program. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Have we been there before? Oh, God damn it! where are these... Where are the Misty Mountains? Because apparently I didn't get a fast travel to it. Okay, so they're northeast. O okay, game. I'm try. <laughs> I 
What's this? Country Cottage! Hello, Elena. I train adventurers and travelers how to fight monsters. Looks like you might be interested in learning a few things. I actually have wondered about these damn fields of effect things. Some monsters can deploy a magical field of effect on the ground. Those can cause all kinds of physical ailments. You can only avoid their effects by staying away or by equipping a charm against physical ailments or foe. The, one, the, the foe one charm wards off yellow. The foe two wards off red. It's weird that there's not one that just wards off all of them. They usually do that kind of stuff eventually. I had a dream. There were many young ones like you talking. You want to hear about my dream? I call these dreams skits. Come again and I'll tell you any dreams I may have. Hmm. Interesting. I probably came to this place near the beginning of the game, I just don't remember it. <clears throat> uh, yep, here we go. Misty Mountains. Find anything geek? <clears throat> I guess we'll have to go further in. Uh oh, maybe not. Looks like a murder doggo to me. Oh, look, it's a little golfy. Is that thing like a wannabe spot? Geek! There ain't nothing me and Geek can't handle. That was a weak golf. I doubt it was the source of the attacks. Yeah, none of our guys would let something like that puny beat some that puny beat them either. There may be others. Let's keep looking around. Don't you worry, me and Geek will take care of all of them. We should probably cover the entire mountain range. Ugh, are we really going to do that much walking? We're doing this so we can prove Geet's innocence. If you don't want to come, then you don't have to. You can wait here all alone. Oh, that sounds exciting. I bet all kinds of things have come out to meet you. Yeah, well, I prefer not to meet all kinds of things by myself, so I think I'll be sticking with you guys. <laughs> I hope you're doing well this morning, Elena. Uh, do I? Eh, I probably should. All right. What do you got for me now, hard encounter? This one looks strong. Foolish soul into death's chill grasp and red blades deep of lightning. Chloe, take him down. Icicle Volt! Got it! What are you looking at, huh? Check his gambit! Swallow Dance! <clears throat> Dark Force! <laughs> Maiden of Ice, you sleep with some solid Dance. force. Grace my enemies with your pure smile and offer them thy bosom! Final Embrace! Swallow! Cheerleader Touch! Dancer Blade! Just one more shot! Here, use this! Brain Demon! Thanks, what are you thick. Shield! Huh? <laughs> I can't believe I went that far up in the air to chase it. Don't take your eyes off it. Worm rocks. Don't anti shield. Thunder arrow. Demon thing blast. Swallow death. Flame blades. Shining star. Storm brain demon. Worm rocks. Thunder arrow. Blam. Got him. All right. Not much XP. Kind of annoying. It's probably not even going to be worth it. Ooh, that purple chest might be, though. Tempest Gambit. Thwallow Dance. Thward Rain Demon. Thward Rain Demon. <laughs> uh, that's, those, are, those are definitely um, Aeris or Arts or whatever. This one looks oh. kind of tough. 
Golf X. That interrupted the Eris. Don't take your eyes off him. Someone cover me while I'm trying to get over there. I'm trying to get over there. Someone covering my own casting, jeez. I think Nor I think Norma wants someone to cover her while she's casting. Jeez. Those wounds. Remember them well. Oh, I was hoping to get some uh, golf stones because I think golf is one of the ones I'm missing. A lot of for some heiress. Well, let's grab this and I'll check. A reflect ring. Eh, alright. Like, if it looks at some of um, his heiress. Some of them. I'm not sure. I think well, at least one of them needed some golfs. Gonna say that line every time my DD sorcerer takes damage. You should. That'd be. That's really funny. Actually. <laughs> Someone cover me while I'm casting, jeez! Okay, yeah. Well, we need to kill some hill anglers too, but golf is one I'm missing stones from. Because when I first started playing the game where there was a lot of golfs, I didn't realize you needed Eris stones to unlock us Eris spells for characters, so. There's some spells that I've just been missing because I don't have, like, hill angler stones or golf stones or whatever. I like got fucking Norma blows bubbles. Thanks, stones. I don't think I need those. <laughs> Abe's wood? Hmm. Are we talking about like Abe's Odyssey wood? Like from that series? Or is that Abraham Lincoln's wood? Why is Abraham Lincoln in Tales of? <laughs> Why is he here? Coolidge? What is it? Just thinking some. Oh god, thinking. <laughs> that ain't like you at all. <laughs> Who do you think I'm doing this for? Let's rest here for a bit. I'll scout ahead. Let's go, Geet. Red's acting pretty nervous. Well, Geet's like family to Moses. Even though he trusts him, he's probably having a hard time staying calm. When it comes to family, Sandar takes things very seriously. Chaba, let me ask you something. Sure, what is it? Why do you and the others suspect Geet? I doubt anyone who's seen how Moses and Geet act together would suspect him so easily. Even we can tell the strength of the bond between Sandar and Geet. That point's been troubling me as well. You must have a reason. If you don't want to talk about it, we won't force you. It's alright. I think it would be best for you to know. In the worst case scenario, we need, we'll need your cooperation as well. Worst case scenario? 
That has a really bad ring to it. Oh, just hearing that makes me all tingly. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> is it related to this turning wild you spoke of? Our guys are all scared to geet my turn wild. Exactly what sort of phenomenon is turning wild? It's when a beast casts aside its life with people and returns to living the way it would naturally. In other words, it turns back into a monster? Is that really something to worry about? I can't imagine Spot attacking anyone. Surely you and the others know that better than anyone, Chaba. I've known Mos Moses and Geet since we were children. I know how strong the bond of trust is between them. Then why do you fear he may turn wild? All beast tamers are destined to face the day their beasts turn wild. What? Every beast that chooses to live with people will one day turn wild. Without exception. Is it because you and the others know about this that you're being cautious of Geet? If he was a normal golf, I don't think they'd be this nervous. What do you mean? Geet is a special type of golf called a Grand Golf. Of course he is. They're the kings of the golf family. A proud species with uncanny leadership. I've heard that Grand Golfs are untamable. When I first saw Moses with Geet, I was quite surprised. Do you know why Grand Golfs are called the kings of golfs? Is it because of what you just said? <laughs> Well, naturally, that's part of it, but that's not all. Grand Gulls possess overwhelming power, greater than anything humans can handle. Is Spot really that strong? A long time ago, in the village where I used to live, half the population was ruthlessly killed by a single Grand Gulf. Well, damn, they needed to grind some XP. <laughs> well, are you serious? Grand Golves are a symbol of fear and awe among beast tamers, and yet Moses can walk with Geet as if it were nothing. That's precisely what attracts you all to Moses, isn't it? So, like, is Red way cooler than we thought he was? <laughs> he represents everything we could ho ever hope to be. Why do beasts turn wild? Is there something that triggers it? The most common reason is when the balance of power between the beast and its master collapses. The beast's power grows too great, and it ceases to acknowledge its master as its superior. Another is for it to learn to taste of blood and be overcome by its instincts as a monster. I can see why they call it turning wild. What happens to beasts after they turn wild? There are two paths. One is for it to be killed by the person who is its partner. Jeez, are you serious? No matter what, beasts that turn wild always attack their partner. For the beast, it may be kind of a ritual to return to its wild state. A ritual to cut its ties to humans. However, not all beast tamers win. Some simply lose the fight and some fall to their emotions and choose death. That's the other path. That, that's serious. I don't like that at all. That is the destiny of a beast tamer. Ha ha! Me and Geet are going to change that destiny. Moses. Everyone says that, but they all go on to meet their fates. They all thought they would be the one exception. You know that as well as anyone, Moses. Come on now. Me and Geet are different. Ha <laughs> ha I'm sure you are. Very different. Ah. My coffee is now just like the right temperature to just kind of rapidly drink it. We're but not being too cold. It's like good sipping temperature. Well, I guess that's why the mountains are misty, is all these fucking w water jets. <laughs> this one looks strong. Talent strike. Something's coming. Worm rush. Anti shield. Eagle rising. Tiger tempest. Swallow dance. A foolish soul in this. Dark force. In death's chill grasp and rent by its teeth of lightning. What are you up to? Sword ring phantom. Icicle volt. Jesus, sword ring omega. 
Oh, we got some stones. You need more practice. Yes. See, there's a there, golf stones have been kind of limiting me for a while. Thunderblades, one of those. Not that it matters anymore, but like. Let's see, any other golf related eras? Uh, shelter, but. I don't know what I don't I don't know what um, Norma learned, but eh. It's really obnoxious to fight aerial enemies like this. Chloe basically fought both of those golfs by herself. Tolerably well. Oh, thanks. Push ups. gonna clobber all the monsters on the way through. Again? A full soul into the death shield grows in red by its teeth of lightning. That must be what she learned. Icicle Volt! What are you angry about? <laughs> and normally when Norma runs over to like cling to Sinnoh's arm, he's just like, uh, I guess I'm alright. <laughs> so that's a different, like, like an alternate, like, um, outcome to that situation, I guess. Um, Mandrakes. Zephyrs. Base turtle. Based turtle. <laughs> yeah, it was Firestorm that she learned. Hmm. A turtle was based. Based on what? Oh, I assure you, it's quite based. <laughs> exactly. We've been over the entire area, but... 
There weren't any monsters that looked like what we were after. I'm exhausted. It's tough being all so frail and helpless. Um, that was a joke. Feel free to say something. <laughs> I see. Anything at all? Chime in, folks. I could use a punchline, or just ignore me. <laughs> I've never, I've never played the Ace Attorney stuff, but it seems kind of fun, or interesting at least. Oh, you're so frail and cute, Norma. See, that's my G girl. You're the perfect partner. What is it? That kind of serious face doesn't suit you, Moses. Oh. I don't know if that's a series I would play, but it's definitely something I might, like, watch at some point. Hey, maybe this is the monster we're looking for. It's not a golf. That's good news, huh, Red? I wasn't worried one bit. I always trust Geet. It appears to decide we're its enemies. We're gonna wind up fighting it anyway. Let's go, Geet! Brace yourselves. Get the fuck away from the monster. Norma, go away. Go. Stop standing there wiggling your little ass. Go. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> Offer them thy bosom, you know? As you do. May I offer you a, a, bo a cold bosom in this trying time? Cold bosom. <laughs> yeah. If it's an a if it's a cold spell, it's gotta be a cold bosom, right? Like it, like an ice, like an ice mommy or whatever. I guess I don't know. Shield. 
Supreme Demon! Swallow Dance! Here. Dark Force! Use this! Oh, but that boss is basically just an HP sponge. Is he I mean, that boss is just a lot of HP. It wasn't really hard. It just had a lot of HP. Didn't even look how much HP it had. I was just kind of clobbering it. Yahoo! We did it. That's enough, Geet. That thing's a goner by now. Geet, enough. It's already dead. Hey, hey, Spot, take it easy. Mount. Whoa, Spot was like brutal. I never thought I'd see Geeting nor Moses. Uh oh. That was nothing. Just a one time thing. Are you sure? If I say it's nothing, then it's nothing. You got that? At any rate, we're done here. Let's return to the town and see how things go. Oh, come on. I gotta walk out. Garbage. <laughs> Not no fun. Why can't I just quick jump? <laughs> I want to quick jump. Holy bottle. You've been out too long at the midnight sea. Oh boy, milk, my favorite. I about did a loop-de-loop, -loop, and I kind of did anyway. This one looks kind of tough. Damn it! Shining star right! Here, use this! Swallow dance! Shield! Swallow dance! Yeah, the reason you swallow dance in the... In the wormer so much is they're like the best... Generally the best, um... Things that Sinnel has for, uh... Comboing enemies to get... Clumping enemies together. Plus, they hit these aerial enemies pretty easily, too. These clumped up enemies are easier to hit with the spells. Oh goodness, Norma, what did you learn? You might have learned something too. Black hole? Nope, don't got enough divas for that, so we'll have to find more divas eventually. <clears throat> you also 
no black hole. Interesting, they both learn the same. It's weird because like Will is like a mixed cast where he's got healing spells and like just other spells. And so does Norma, but hers are different. It's weird. They 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 made they made a weird decision with the it's, I don't hate it but it's just weird what they did with the casters in this game and then Groon just has like high damage like element spells and nothing else Unless I check, Shirley just kind of has bad spells. She's got Fireball, which is 52 DP for Fireball, which I don't think is very good. Same with Ice Wall. She's got Cure, which is fine. I mean, that's a single target full heal, but... Oftentimes, you don't need a single target full heal. You need to heal more people, which is why I have Norma, because she has Revive, which is a multi-target 30%. Which is usually more than enough to get you back on your feet. Like, they just did some weird stuff with the casters. Go away already! Human rising! Here, use this! Swallow Dan! Firestorm! First aid! Focus! Swallow Dan! What are you up to? Anti-shield! Dark Force! Don't take your eyes off it! What are you looking at, huh? Swap! Anti-shield! Here, use this! Swallow Dance! Ice First aid! Strawberry Demon! What are you up to? Oh shit, one was- how'd one get over there? <laughs> how'd you get over here, weird cat? It must have used that weird flying that attack. Tolerably well. Oh, thanks. Push-ups. Push-ups. Hey, Red, wait up. <clears throat> Jeez. It's probably hard for him to stay calm. It must be hard for him not to think about how Geet was just acting. Especially for a beast tamer like Moses. I'm sure he feels pretty strongly about the Destiny Chavo was talking about. Hope everything's over now. Moses is going on ahead. We should get moving too. Damn it, Sunny, lighten up at this mood. I thought that was your job. Looks like it's up to me. Stop messing around. We need to go back to town. <clears throat> Stop fooling around and give me back my emerald. <laughs> Kill the child! First aid! Thanks. A foolish soul entombed in death's life. Firestorm! Child destroyed! Damn. Sammy, that was so cool! Uh, yeah. Alright, more story. Give me more drama. 
Where is Geet? Has he eaten someone yet? There he is! Ah, woo! Yo, Geet! Oh, hell, fine then, be that way! Red, hold on. You're acting as bad as he is now. It might be best just to leave him alone for now. I have a new power. I am now unstoppable. Hey, Nerkora. Nice emote. I wonder if Geet's really all right. There's nothing we can do now but wait and see. Meaningless conjecture will only complicate matters. Still, I don't want to wait around for something to happen. By then, it might be too late. I'll gather as much information as I can. Thanks, Jay. Though, to be honest, I can't say I'm all that thrilled by doing something like this for Moses. Only angry, evil, happy, dead. Those are past emotions. Geet. We're gonna stay together forever. We're gonna stick together, no matter what. Oh, we get to see small Moses. Where'd you go? Ah, woo! There you are. Hey, get back here. I said get back here, you stupid golf. <laughs> what the? My feet ain't touching the ground. Ah, it's a cliff. I'm gonna fall. No, ah. What's this Looney Tunes ass shit? <laughs> lurky lurk, but first. Senna, wake up. Gab it! <laughs> Is something wrong? It's Geet. There's a problem. We have to get to Will's house now. Uh-oh. Geet's gone rogue! He's a hungry dog! No, oh, more like a wolf. Or a golf. Same, same difference, you know. Please settle down. We understand what you're saying. Please, let me handle the situation. <coughs> what we want you to do is show us the big golf that was with that guy. Everyone in town has seen them together. You can't just talk, you can't talk your way out of this. What's going on? People from the city were attacked by a pack of monsters. According to the people who were attacked, the golf that looked like Geet was look leading the pack. Oh, excuse me. And that's what caused this commotion. If you don't have anything to hide, then why don't you just show us the golf? Yeah, exactly. Where's Geet now? Nobody's seen them since last night. That's not good. I'll take personal responsibility in investigating this matter. Please accept that for now. But we... Do you not trust me? It's not that. Then please break this up for now. Go on about your business. Fucking normies. It's just as I feared. Even ordinary citizens are being threatened. It wasn't Geet. I guess that monster we defeated in the Misty Mountains had nothing to do with this. Well, y'all really think Geet did it? Seno, are you saying you don't trust me and Geet? No one's saying that. 
Moses, calm down. We understand that you want to trust Gee, but right now we don't have any proof of his innocence. We'll have to take out the monster that attacked the townspeople. Chaba's getting me information about that right now. We have Jay working as well. I'm sure we'll locate it soon. Moses, listen to me. We want to trust Geet too. We've been together all this time, after all. Sorry, I let myself get all worked up. <laughs> Moses, we found it. Where? On the opposite bank of Raging Bay, in the crags. There's a pack of monsters hiding there. Let's go tell the others. If they ever do a remaster of this fucking game, they need like a mini map in this, like on the screen within this fucking town. Because the only way I know about where to go in this town is because I've had to go through this damn town so much. <laughs> To the crags! Norma is always so full of energy. Well, it's my job to keep morale high. Gotta do my best. Oh! A fucking course, whatever. So, what do I go here and then to there? Or? It's these Slender Man looking motherfuckers. What are you up to? What you planning to do? Flame blades. Apparently kick my ass. Shining sword and phantom. You brought this on yourself. Such weird enemies. <laughs> Someone yank you will me the way I'm casting. Jeez, W. Somebody come blow me when I'm casting. Jeez, I found shrimps. And squid. Zzz. I don't know if it means supposed to be here or not. Alright, well, let's uh, check the map thing. Why is it over there? Why the fuck is it over there? You know what, whatever. We're gonna go to the duct and we're gonna fast travel to somewhere near it.
I thought that was near it, but apparently it's not, so we're gonna go to the forest and return instead. I'm a little annoyed. <clears throat> I'm a little annoyed. Oh, this is nothing. Watch out. Follow this. Final embrace. This is getting too close. Focus. Here, it's risky to get too close. <laughs> I have my moments. Hmm. Looks like I might have to actually go out around this way, but I'm going to mute up real fast and use the bathroom. I'll be right back. All right, I have returned. Yeah, I needed that pretty bad. All right, so. I guess we're gonna investigate, go, we're gonna go to the Orsor and Village and investigate going around. That's a possibility.
is nothing. Small damage. There's a blade. Tiger attack. Just one more shot. Flame blade. Small damage. Small. Sword ring tiger. What are you looking at, huh? What are you looking at, huh? There's a blade. Anti shield. So what are you up to? What are you up to? Small damage. Shining sword. Not much. Sword ring demon. Flame blade. All right. Jesus Christ, this is why I don't have Shirley in the party. She's just not very good, and then everyone starts dying. Right, it doesn't help that that freaking other enemy in the back there has been. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> yeah, those enemies aren't a joke, it's just I couldn't get to them. And Shirley Dent is just not doing anything. Travesty. That went tolerably well. Thanks. Is he met? <laughs> no, it didn't. That did not go tolerably well. I was wanting to give Shirley a shot, but God no, not now. Sorry, Cheryl. We need an actual caster in the party. <laughs> I'm actually gonna just use the damn life, uh, holy ball now, cause that battle wasted a lot of time. As is, I'm wasting a lot of time cause I have to like run all the way to this. Get out of my fucking way, you shit ass turtle. Final embrace! What are you looking at, huh? Damn, I thought it 
is just hiding. Yeah. Don't let his behavior <laughs> hear you. Thunder arrow. Is this? Shield! Worm Rush! <laughs> Brilliant Vanguard of the Heavens! Worm Rush! And with your wrath, lead my enemies to their doom! <laughs> you brought this on yourself. Base Turtle! <laughs> Also, Norma has a resurrection spell nobody else in the fucking party does, so... That's also pretty nice. That's annoying. I'm trying to press start to switch to like the world map view, but like it just doesn't work. I don't know if that's an emulator problem or what the deal is, but it's just it's just not doing what it's supposed to be doing. This one's a walking <laughs> Well, that was wrong, bad timing. Hey, Norma, you want to fucking do something, please? Never mind, it's over. <laughs> Quit charging in fists first. We won, right? Stop preaching. Are you talking to me? What the fuck else am I talking to? What what do you expect me to do? Fists all settle has. Well, it looks like we're not continuing from there. God, this is a little obnoxious. I'm gonna go back into town and buy items, because I didn't expect to have to actually use any. And then, I had Shirley in the party, and we got our shit pushed in a little bit. Because she doesn't really do anything. And the enemies were definitely doing stuff, so just kind of sucks that they made her so bad. You spend, you spend the entire damn game, normal game, trying to save her, and then you finally get her as a party member in the post game, and she's just kind of dog water. She's not very good. Alright, let's try this again. So we got to the waterways. <clears throat> we might go to Mart's, Mart's Hermitage.
That or Village of the Fairness. Let's probably go to the Village of the Fairness at this point. We can travel from there. Yeah, this world map's Turn weird. It's okay, I should have seen that coming. Oh wow, wow, that's that's, that's brutal. How could I let him do that? Thunder arrow, focus! Final embrace! Firestorm! Frickin' couldn't do anything! Look at these look at these poop these shitty Pac-Men. Foolish soul entombed in death's chill grasp and red by its teeth of lightning! Eat this! Eat this! Firestorm! Shining storm rising! Eat this! Icicle Volt! That went tolerably well. Thanks. Is he meditating? Ooh, new basis. Sweet. Let's get that. Let's see what that is. Still learning freaking new Eris at like level 59. It's honestly a little silly. It's not rending Earth. I've had that for net forever. It's not Beast. I already have. I've had that forever. Dragon Crush, maybe? Hmm. That or it's Talon Blast. Hmm. I feel like it's Talon Blast, but. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not gonna bother with that. Focus and counter to enemy's attack. Best against divas. Lowers enemy accuracy. Hmm. Interesting. Eh, sure, whatever. Negative blade. She's got a lot of dark attacks, like bloody howling, 
Demon Lance and Negative Blade. Like, that's just a lot of just dark power. I don't know what her deal is. Well, that's not obviously not going anywhere, so we need to. Head this way, I guess? Question mark? I don't know. It's kind of annoying to get to this Crags place. I don't want to fight these. These are annoying. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that. That's an annoying group of enemies. Hey, why are we running away? We don't have to fight every single enemy. Preserving your strength is an important tactic as well. Yeah, yeah, the truth is you just got scared and took off, right? No, I just don't want to deal with those enemies. Don't be so fucking judgmental, Norma. Jeez. Is there a bridge anywhere around here? I'm gonna be a little annoyed if there's not, because I'm gonna, just gonna look up how to get to this damn crag. Anti shield! Brilliant Vanguard of the Heavens! Cry havoc and with your wrath, lead my enemies to their doom! Rumrush! Indignation! What are you looking at, huh? Swallow Thunder Arrow! Demon! Brilliant Vanguard of the Heavens! Cry havoc and with your wrath, lead my enemies to their doom! Should've seen that coming! Indignation! What are you up to? Silent! Here, use this. It's risky to get. What are you up to? It's risky to get you covered. Hang on, just a little more. Ah, Here, use this. Dark force. It's risky to get you close. Hey. It's risky to get you close. It's risky to get you. It's risky to get you. It's risky to get you close. This recover. little, sh this little shitty fucking squid has this field of effect effect thing that I can't. We can't like fight in. Fuck you, you little bastard. Sword Rain! Talent Strike! Sword Rain Tiger! Yeah! Oh. Hello, hello, 3Gs. I'm not sure if we were able to hear it because, like, just mid battle, so let me, I'll probably I'll let me play that for you. From the dashboard. Hello, good morning. There we go. <laughs> I hope you are well. We are stumbling around trying to find how to get to a certain place because this world map is a disaster. God damn it. There's not a freaking bridge over here, is there? You know what? Google, help! <laughs> Hmm. 
Yeah, like weird maps like, how do I get anywhere in this fucking map? And all these like fandom wikis are like... All these character, all these fandom wikis are like the most useless fucking things ever. Help me Neo Seeker, help me Game Facts. Alright. I was on the right track, I just went the wrong fucking way. Apparently. So let's, let's go back. <laughs> Target is weak! I... Spot! Okay! I'll this! Talent strike! Anti-shield! Dark Force! Here, use this! They should have seen that coming! First aid! Sovereign Demons! Here, use this! Sovereign Demons! What are you up to? Here, use this! What are you looking at, huh? Recover! Thanks! Firestorm! Grand Chief! Sovereign Phantom! Here, use this! Recover! I should have seen that coming! Sermon Phantom! B! Here, use this! Ground Slam! Recover! Dark Force! Eagle Rising! Beast! Beautiful! Sermon Tiger! Dark Force! I like how these little orb enemies are like basically Pac-Man. Here, use this! It's risky to get- it's risky to- I should have seen that coming! Human Blades! Glad that's over. Oh boy, so much poison. <laughs> All right, Reynard. All right, let's con let's continue trying to unfuck myself here. Cuz I went the wrong way. That's the village of the Fern is where we fast traveled to. So we're supposed to head like northeast. So I guess we'll head that way. Yeah. Yeah, weird map. Okay, how could I let him do that? Anti shield. Firestorm. Let my gear use this. Here we go. Sword ring. Firestorm. Dance with me. What are you looking at, huh? Anti shield. Eat this. Eat this. Sword ring alpha. Eat this. Any closer. If it gets any closer, anti shield. Swallow dance. What are you looking at, huh? That interrupted the heiress. Dance Swallow dance. What are you up to? Eagle rising. I should have seen that coming. Swallow Here, you too close. Fire storm. Recover. I should have seen Watch that out. coming. Go, go, go. Here, use this. Tempest Gambit. We found it. Recover. I should have seen that coming. Look at this. Die, Pac-Man. You do not belong in this world. That's over. Now the poison from those is obnoxious. Thankfully, since Reynard has like a um, one of the one of the TP reducing rings, he uses a lot less TP for his stuff, so it's just pretty cheap to just have him just spam 
healing stuff. We are currently on Moses' uh, character quest. Be careful of this web, it'll trap you in an instant. This stuff's gonna be a problem. Swallow dance! Dark force! New and raising! New and raising! Coin! Icicle vault! Worm, what are you looking at, huh? Maiden of Ice. No suck! Dark force! You're smiling off of them vibes, what's up? Final embrace! How is this? How is this? We never, we never lose. lose. All right. Hopefully, this damn crags place is nearby, cause I'm tired of running around on the world map and dealing with those squid enemies. You're a kid. You're a squid. You're a kid. You're a squid. <laughs> Again? Uh, target its weak spots. Okay. Beat. Firestorm. Sunbreak. Icicle Volt. Shining Storm Light. Swallow Dance. Shoot. Dark Force. Use this. Swallow. What are you with? Recover. Huh? Shining Storm. Storm Come here, you asshole! <laughs> you earthen Pac-Man, you! It even it's it's freaking like melee attack or whatever is like Pac-Man biting a ghost or some shit. It's fucking ridiculous. They can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> What? No. Why am I right? Why am I back up here? I don't want to be back up here. Bullshit. How do I get this damn place? Alright, fine. I'll look at another game FAQs thing. I guess I'm going to have to blur test and try to figure something else out because this fucking sucks. You know what? No, I don't. I don't even want to fight anything right now. First aid. Cheerleader 
I don't even feel like fighting monsters right now. Okay. Run, Chloe, run. I just wanna get back to a duck. <laughs> just laying down, just getting smashed with a big rock. Okay, <laughs> that's a na that's a natural reaction getting hit with a comically big rock. All right, let's see. Yeah, there's no f this fucking dang darn shit ass freaking. They're like, you can go to the duct and pick far shore of right there's that no, that's not a thing. Oh no it is, I'm a fucking moron. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go heal. I hate my I hate myself. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I literally looked and didn't notice that until literally just now. And now uh, I'm struggling to try to find this stupid place. Admittedly, this isn't the first time this the post game has done this. Like, very first part of the post game, they're like, oh, go back to, um, like, something something spring, and that's literally the first place you go to in the entire game, and you have to get there through going, by going through the town. It's not on the world map, and I was so confused, it took, I, I wish, like, 40 minutes just trying to find this damn place. But yeah, that's old JRPGs for ya. What a waste of what a waste of our time. Not just my time, it's your time and my time. Uh, let's see. Well, here we are. The crags. Red, what is it? Did you find something? It's nothing. Moses. Red, you're looking kind of scary. He's looked like that ever since we met him. Ah, good point. <laughs> Y'all are assholes. <laughs> That's strange. Normally he'd be like... Jay, let's you and me take this outside or something. Let's get moving. Yeah, I don't think now's the time to be be goofballs about it. Hey guys, wait up! Uh, what's going on here? I don't know how I should act now. Finding it in enemies. This one looks strong. <laughs> Ancient Nova, huh? Anti shield. What do you look? Dark force. That's a lot <laughs> a lot of bonus XP. Jesus Christ. 
I mean, the levels are coming surprisingly fast still. Abe's Wood. I don't want Abe's Wood. I have to deal with enough Abraham Lincoln shit as it is since I live in Springfield. They're like, oh, this is the hometown of Abraham Lincoln. Who fucking cares? This one looks oh, this is what I care about. I need stones from these guys. <laughs> They kill this fucking nerd. They get this, get this little flower twink over here. Twink destroyed. God, these big fish have a lot of HP. You brought this on yourself. I would love if I could get into a battle with those um, fish enemies without the enemy that casts like Ancient Nova and blasts like a quarter, like a third of her HP off with one spell. That'd be great. Uh oh. What is it? I can't take all this doom and gloom anymore. It's hardly surprising given the situation. Chloe, Norma can't survive if she stays quiet for too long. Exactly, I. Hey! You've always got to be making noise, don't you? Spot's gonna be fine. He and Red are super close. <sighs> I ain't worried a bit. Then why aren't you being silly and stupid like you usually are? You've been acting strangely ever since we got here. What, you've been studying me or something, Jay? It doesn't take that much effort. You're no good at hiding your feelings. Hmm, <laughs> whatever. You're upset because you suspect Geet, too. Now, listen. That's enough, you two. <laughs> we continue our investigation, we'll eventually find the truth. Throwing out our own guesses won't bring us any closer to a conclusion. <sighs> now it's all gloomy again. We'll just have to deal with it for now. Let's do our best, Norma. Charge! Gee, girl, I don't know know what I'd do without you. All right. Well, uh, Dark for it. It's risky to get you close. Indignation. It's risky to get you close. Out of the this. Dark for it. Eat this. Eat this. Recover. What are you up to? Demon Fang Blast. What are you looking at, huh? Focus! Eat this! Anti-shield! I should've seen that coming! That went tolerably well. Oh, thanks. Push-ups? Bump-a-dump-a-dump-a-dump-a-dump. Oh, it'd be foe one. In that case. It's weird that, like, Fields of Effects uh, 2 and 3 don't cover the previous ones, so you have to kind of just, like, kind of keep switching. Wait, you don't have another thing? Um, I could have sworn I gave you, like, some sort of, like, 
fairy ring or some shit like that before. Maybe I didn't. Oh, you have it on. I just, I guess you just never got something else. That's weird. You've got a moon crystal on for the sake of not running out of TP. Doesn't seem to really do much. Doesn't seem to help as much. So you'll probably end up giving you uh, the other faux one charm. And I'll just swap those charms around if I get into battles with enemies. It's Mimi. Do you have any siblings, Mimi? I've got a brother named Coat, Copy, and a sister named Cornet. Cornet's really cute, like me. Uh, where to start? Do they act as uh, strangely as you do? What's so strange about the way I act? Stupid people don't even realize how stupid they are, like Moses here. Jay, that's f not very fucking nice. Don't compare me to him. Hey! I've had about enough of this. I'm leaving before I get tart with you. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. Great. Baking puns. Die, penis robot. You do not belong in this world. <laughs> Honestly, that robot's quite talented. Sweat and training is one less drop of blood in battle. <laughs> yeah, but push-ups? Imagine doing like a forward roll off of your dick. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Granted, that's probably not what that structure is, but that's what it looks like. Let's be fucking real. Oh wait, we got a save. We got a heal point and a save point. Nice. Well, that's fun. Means, means we're probably fighting the boss soon. He gave us a climax bottle. Nice. Damn, they're behind us. A full yeah, this this angler enemy has like fucking 30k HP. Let's go. What are you looking at? Huh? Let my guard down. We never lose. I wish I could get some some stones from those.
This one looks strong. Who is this? Shield! Oh, let's go! Worm Rush! Build your arrow Sorry. right now, though! Swallow Dance! What are you looking at? Anti-Shield! Huh? Shining Storm Lightning! A full soap! Build your arrow! Wind Tomb in Death's Field Grasp and Red Light! Don't take Sorry. your eyes off it! Tiger Tempest! Icicle Vault! What are you doing? Worm Rush! Dark Force! Worm Rush! Yeah. Damn, Chloe got some fucking hops. No, no, I, not the stones I need. Damn it. Damn it, game. This one looks kind of tough. Worm Rush! Flame Blade! Healing Blade! Serving Phantom! Dark Force! Don't approach the ball and eject it. You'll be caught in the explosion. Here, use this. What are you up to? Worm Rush! First aid! Dark Force! What are you looking at, huh? Anti-Shield! Worm Rush! Starbrain Demon! Worm Rush! Maiden of Ice who sleep... This in silent forest, grace my Shining enemies with your pure smile for it. them thy bosom! Final embrace! Ask Queen Titties! Sorry, I forgot to go easy on you. Well, surely it seems to like I finally learned a new spell. Let's see how bad it is. Man, I feel bad a little... Indignation? I mean, that's a good spell. At least, but uh, but uh, but other than cure, that's all she's really got. Excuse me. And Will's got cure and indignation and other stuff. And Norma's got other stuff that's just better too. So unfortunately, Shirley's just like the worst spellcaster in the group, which is weird because she's the fucking Marinus. You'd think she'd be you know the best because that's she's. You know, yeah. There's nothing here. Are we sure this is the right place? My information network never fails. So if anyone made a mistake, it's us. Chloe's right. Did you hear something? It almost sounded like some kind of animal. Seems like your ears aren't playing tricks on you. There it is again. Where's it coming from? Over there. Here it comes. Oh damn, that's a, that's a sick ass looking golf. Spot? Wait, no, it's not. How could you think that's Geet? Oh my, it looks like it's in a really bad mood. This is getting exciting. All right, dog battle. Jedi would hate me right now because I'm about to beat this dog's ass. 118k HP. Cure me, please. Huh? Here, use this. Alpha Tempest. If it gets any closer, just one more shot. Cure. I should keep them for later. Swallow them. Revive. Shot Sorbrain Demon. Worm 
crush. my enemies with your pure smile and over them by bosom. Worm rush. Final embrace. What are you looking at, huh? Climax time! Norma, that means fucking go. <laughs> She's just like, fuck! Punch the pupper. And yeah, it's pupper mouth. Nice. We never lose. Kusanagi blade. Not a, not again, not hard, just a big HP sponge mostly. That one must have been the real perpetrator. This will clear Geet's name. You can relax, Moses. Can he? You don't look happy. What is it? It ain't over. What do you mean? Just what I said. That wasn't nothing more than a game. I thought you stopped playing hide and seek when we were little. Come on out, Geet.
Red, what's going on? It would seem that we see before us is the truth. But but that that's this time there's no question, that's Gee. How can you say that so calmly? Stop carrying on, don't agitate him. He's acting strangely. Uh oh, he's not alone. Leave it to me, you can trust me and Gee. Oh, this is too dangerous. We made it through tough spots plenty of times already. We'll be fine. Geet, if this is some kind of prank, then it's gone a bit too far. Enough playing around here. Come on home. Moses, look out. Chomp! Ah! Moses! Sennel! Ugh, he's so strong. There he goes, cloppity cloppity cloppity. Well, don't just stand there. Don't stand inside of each other. Yeah, I'm convinced that's like weird emulator stuff because they probably shouldn't be visible. He knew exactly when to retreat. He has perfect control over the others too. Sinnoh, are you okay? I'm fine. What about Moses? He's badly hurt. That's Moses' eye patch. Moses, move your hand. I can't heal the wound around your eye. <clears throat> what happened to your eye? What, what, what are you acting all surprised about? Red. He's unconscious. He looks weird without his eye patch. We should return to where to speak and, rec and reorganize, especially considering Moses' condition. Yeah. Oh god damn it, you're making me leave now like this? Ah! Why you like this game? This one looks strong. Up, so I must have hit level 60. Wonder what title that is. I wonder if it's any good. I've reached the pinnacle of the path of battle. Like, uh, Kind Brothers, the base, um, title. Hmm. And that's why I've had Berserk, like, since I got it, because it gives you like 50 HP and 4 attack. That's like. That's pretty decent, all things considered. Alright, now we gotta leave. Not the end of the world. That seems like a new sword for oh, I mean yeah, it is. It is. It does seem like a fitting sword for um, Jay. All right, well, I guess we're going this way through back through the frickin' dungeon. Need to make sure I buy more holy bottles. 
because I've been down too long at the Midnight Sea. <laughs> Norma, that's mean. Icicle Volt. Flame Blades. You brought this on yourself. It, it was probably just about as fast to run away, so I figured I'd just fight him since those enemies look seem like they're pretty defenseless unless you are affected by their their field of effect. So I just ignored them and ignore that, and then it's basically free. I come here there's some treasure I'm missing, but I just don't know if I care. Cause I'm trying to get some story done. Again? Anti shield. Dark as much as I love Legendia now, I do want to. I do want to get to a rise <laughs> before long. So I'll, I'll finish out as much of this as I can bear. Which honestly, I don't mind doing all of it as long as you know it's interesting. Which so far it is. Okay, that's apparently not the right way. Uh, where is? Okay, it's over here. Like I'm still very interested and invested in stuff, so I don't have a pro I don't have a problem just keep continuing to do the post game stuff. But eventually, I do want to get to playing Arise because I've wanted to since I since it came out. And hell, before when they were showing all like the like pre release stuff before it was even out, I was like, oh, that looks so good. I have my moments. And I've played I've played the other uh, of the more of the modern era of Tales games too. I've played Berseria, I've played Zestiria, and I've played Zillia One. I might go. I might do Zillia Two at some point, but like, I don't know. We'll see. You could hardly do worse than seeing more Mommy Maxwell, <laughs> since she actually is just Mommy Maxwell now for real. Final embrace. What are you looking at, huh? Indignation. What are you looking at, huh? At, huh? Oh shit, Chloe died? The fuck killed you, Chloe? Uh, probably the big, like, supernova thing. Yeah, that's also why I have uh, Norma. Except you did, Chloe. You, you just randomly died. Probably got stacked out <laughs> by freaking uh, supernova spell or whatever the hell that was. Don't really know what happened. I just noticed that Norma was using a resurrection. I was like, "What? Did someone die?" <laughs> Apparently, the answer was yes. I, 
I find it kind of nuts that we're like level 60 at this point. I don't know if that's over leveled or what. Hard to really say. Because near the end of most Tales of games I've done, that are like on normal mode, it's like usually in like level 50 or 60 ish. Usually closer to like level 50. I, I was I remember on uh, Mania mode on Symphonia, I was like level 70 ish or so, but that's like a necessity because just the extra difficulty of all the fuck, just everything is just so much harder. Who would have thought that double, like doubling HP, doubling damage would have that much of an effect, right? If it gets any closer, Thunderblade. Don't approach the ball. Injected. You'll be caught in the explosion. Don't approach the ball. Anti shield. What are you looking at, huh? That interrupted the heiress. Why are you dancing over here? You gotta beat your ass. Eray, I'm gonna kick your ass! <laughs> Dale, I'm gonna kick your ass! What are you up to? Final embrace! Ah oh, damn it, gave me some Eris stones. Unless these ones don't drop the stones, which I find highly unlikely. Uh okay, not that way. Should be almost out of here, cause like having to run out of these dungeons like this just adds so much game time that otherwise would not happen in some of the other Tales games where they either just like quick jump you out or like you can just leave whenever you want. I wonder if Fred is okay. His wounds have healed but we can't rest here. We need to go back to town. His wounds may have healed but his pride, his soul has not. <laughs> you know how it goes. Like, wounds can be more than skin deep. <laughs> and all that stuff. Trauma! Woo! Mr. Reinhardt, where have you been? I want to investigate the matter of the monster. That monster's attacked someone someone again. We can't just stand by any longer. Bring that golf you call Geet here immediately. Sin will take care of this. Get Moses to bed. Gotcha. You can use my house. Get Moses out of here before trouble starts. Is we're gonna bonk them on the head too? He doesn't. He does it so well. They want. They want to kill him. How's Moses? Not great, but at least he's not getting any worse. What do we do now? It would. It would be prudent to assume that Geet has turned wild. It's really strong, just like Chava said. If Moses had taken the full brunt of that attack, he might not have survived. If he'd reacted just a little more slowly, he would have been in big trouble. What's gonna happen to Spot? If he really has turned wild, then Red and Spot are gonna fight to the death? He can't be serious. I'm eating some fruit. <laughs> hey, hey, don't go all silent now. You're supposed to say no way or never or something. Throwing a fit about the situation isn't going to change it. Right now, we need to think about what we can do. Moses had a large scar where his eye was. Chaba, do you know anything about that scar? That's... That scar is a sign of the bond between Moses and Geet.
You ain't getting away this time, you little mutt. Hey, get back here. <laughs> he sure runs away fast enough. Even for me, this is enough to make my lungs burst. Ugh, I feel sick. I think I'm gonna puke. Great. Uh-oh. Hey, y'all, I was playing with them first. Ah! What did it do to me? I'll take you these guys. Run while you still can. Yeah, go. Run as fast as you can. It won't stop bleeding. I can't even tell if I feel pain or, or heat or what. Damn it, I can't tell the distance if I can't see out of my left eye. What a pathetic way to die. Damn you. Chomp. You idiot, run. If you're scared, don't force yourself. I'm fine, just fine. Ugh, everything's going blurry. Can't think straight. Oh, woo, chomp. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta chomp. <clears throat> Sometimes you just gotta chomp your problems. This is the third day. He may not make it. Is it alright to leave that grand golf sitting out there like that? <clears throat> it's not alright, but it's not like we can just go and do something about it. Yeah, it might be a child, but it's still a grand golf. But you know, that golf has been in front of the house the entire three days. Is it really waiting for Moses to wake up? It's hard to believe, but I can't think of any other explanation. I guess that grand golf has accepted Moses. Geet waited in front of the house the entire time until Moses woke up. Even when it rained, even when cold winds blew, he sat there, not moving an inch. So Moses' actions moved the heart of a grand golf. After sleeping for three days and three nights, Moses woke up. The howl of joy that rang out of that morning still echoes in my ears today. After that, Moses and Geet were never apart. They played together, they ate together, they even slept at each other's side. For a beast tamer, the relationship between those two represents the ultimate ideal. That must be the reason why you respect Moses. Yes, Moses is an incredible human being. That's why. That's why it hurts so much. That's why the day Moses was exiled, I decided to go with him. Exiled? With the dangers of a grand golf and the fact that it would turn wild, it's only natural that they do such a thing. They had to protect themselves from that which might turn against them. Especially in light of the fact that a grand golf had brought disaster to the village in the past. Moses' family in the village gave him a choice. Either abandon Geet or leave the village. Knowing Moses, he didn't hesitate to give them his answer. <laughs> That's right. Moses didn't hesitate for a moment. He knew. That's Moses for you. He really could stand to use his head a little more. Moses left the village behind and chose the path of living with Geet. And then he came to the legacy. Trying to get them sacred heirs. Register led an eventful life. And yet he's still as carefree as ever. I guess that's impressive in its own way. I better get back to the camp soon. The guys are probably starting to worry about me. Please take care of Moses. I'll go check on Moses. I'll go with you. Gotta say, the, the depth of it's get, that Legendia is giving its uh, characters is impressive. Wait, is Moses not in here? It's late, I shouldn't go inside. Oh yeah, that's Harriet's room. Okay, it, it, you're awake. How could I sleep at a time like this? You should get some rest. You're under great emotional stress. No matter Crystal Iris can help that. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, that Geet, he... He may be a grand golf, but he's spoiled. He's weak, and he's a yellow-bellied coward to boot. Moses? 
When I first met him, he didn't know how to hunt or fight or nothing. He was an embarrassment to every other Grand Gulf out there. The King of Gulfs? <laughs> right. But even so, he bared his fangs and ripped monsters apart with his claws in order to protect me. I watched him as everything faded away around me, and I thought to myself, That's the greatest damn golf in the whole world. I made a vow today. I swore upon Geet, who waited the whole time for me to wake up. And I swore upon my own life. I swore that no matter what happened, I would never betray him. That Geet and me would be together forever. But now, I ain't so sure, and I hate that. I've seen so many beast tamers, I can't stand to look at them in the eyes. I've heard so much of their suffering and regrets, I can't stand to listen to them. Beast tamers and their beasts. The best of friends until one day, bam, they're mortal enemies. I've seen it too many times. Is that why you've lost your confidence? Turning wild is a fate stained with blood. As a beast tamer, I know that better than anyone. I've been lying to myself this whole time, telling myself we'd be okay. I just kept telling myself everything would be alright, just to keep my hands from shaking. But deep down, I knew this day would come. I knew I couldn't keep the balance of power. I can't be his playmate no more. You certainly know how to whine loudly, pathetic dolt. I'm embarrassed just listening to you. What did you say? I knew you were stupid, but I didn't think you were this stupid. Jay, come on now. Oh, choke him! I ain't in a good mood right now. If you start talking crap, I will hurt you. Bad. Oh, please. I'd get bored fighting such a crybaby like you. Alright, let's go. Cut it out, you two. <laughs> Are you planning on just giving up? Since when did you become such a pushover? The Moses I know would hang on to his determination till the very end. Senel. Do you understand what you said a moment ago, Sandor? You just said that you don't trust Geet. In the Misty Mountains, you said you'd change your you'd change your destiny. Are you just pretending then? It ain't that. You said those words because you believed in Geet, right? You idiot, Red. You won't accomplish anything just thinking about this on your own. This is a problem for the both of you. Are you planning on coming up with an answer without facing Geet first? If you give up now, it's all over. I don't want the two of you to regret what happens. Yeah, maybe you're right. All right, Moses. Let's work together and find Geet. Well, he might not have to go very far. That howl. Was that? No question. That's Geet. It sounds like it's coming from close by. He's waiting for you, Moses. It's coming from the camp. My boys! Let's hurry. What is this? Hmm. hmm. What's up, Sennel? What kind of training do you think I'd need to get a body like Will's? I don't reckon that's possible the way we're built. I guess some things you just can't change. Oh well, it's not like I really wanted to look like that or anything. Yeah, you don't have like 10,000 abs, <laughs> cause, cause goddamn. Let me see, can we just look at Will real quick? I mean, look at, look at him. Like, goddamn. Dude's built like an entire washboard. Oh no! How terrible! Let's tend to the injured. Chaba, no! He's dead, isn't he? Or he's dying. Chaba, what happened? M Moses, it was. It was. It was Geet. It was Geet, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm sorry, Moses. We. Surely, heal Chaba! We 
couldn't do anything. You don't gotta say nothing, Chaba. We tried to take care of it by ourselves, so you wouldn't have to suffer. You've done more than enough. Thanks, Chaba. We couldn't do it. I mean, it was Geet. We couldn't bring ourselves to fight him. Chaba. Even the ones who suspected Geet in the first place, none of them could fight him. It's okay, you did good. We all love Geet. We want him to be together with you. you mustn't talk, you'll aggravate your wounds. I'm sorry for putting you through this, Chaba. These tracks. Red, Spot wouldn't do something like this, right? This is some kind of mistake, right? Do you think Chaba would lie? But, but... Besides, these tracks don't lie. I know Greet's tracks anywhere. Is it too late for us, Geet? Oh my god, I'm gonna... I'm gonna fucking cry at the end of this one, aren't we? <laughs> because there's a dog. You got some guts picking a fight with me! Bring it on! This is... Sorry, Geet. This is all my fault. This is... I took your feud. You'll get mine tomorrow. <laughs> You big dummy, did you wait here the whole time? I ain't all that smart. <laughs> this is where it's gonna get me though, because it's just like, you know that, don't you, Geet? I can't think of any other way. So forgive me, okay? <clears throat> He's resigned to his fate. What is it, Moses? I'm gonna kill Geet. What the? What are you saying? Wait, you're serious? Can you really do it? It's not a matter of can or can't. I will. Is that really acceptable to you, Sandor? If someone's gonna take him down, then it's gonna be me. B but still, killing Gee. Are you sure that's how you want this to end? You're worried about me, Sunil. Hell must have frozen over. <laughs> that's enough. Stop trying to hide your feelings with jokes. There's a time and place for saying stupid things, and this isn't it. Then what? You want me to say I can't kill Ke Geet? You want me to get down on my knees and beg everyone not to kill him? I can't take it anymore. I've thought about this as hard as I can. I can't forgive him. There's no way I can forgive Geet. I can never forgive him for what he went and did. He hurt Seno, and look what he did to Chaba and my boys. I can't keep making excuses. If Geet's gonna turn against his own family, then I ain't gonna stop showing him any mercy either. Geet's been your family since way back, hasn't he? You've always been together, right? Sentinel, that ain't how it works. There ain't no past or present with family. New or old, family is family. I got something to ask of you. I'm embarrassed to say this, but I can't take Geet on alone. Please, help me take him down. Moses. I'm swallowing my pride and asking you for this one thing, please. There's no one else I can ask. Moses, look at me. Please. You don't have to beg like that when asking for help from family. I'll help but I'm only doing this to save Geet. I understand. That's plenty. Well, it seems we've reached a conclusion, so I'm going to go investigate Geet's whereabouts. Thanks, Jay. I'm counting on you. Stop that. You're making me ill. <laughs> what is it with What is it with you? This isn't time, you two. 
I don't know. I think it's nice to see them back to normal. Oh, yes. I like it better this way, too. When I've learned something, I'll let you know. Until then, please get some rest. We still got plenty of work ahead of us. Sennel. They found Geet. We found out where Geet is. Everyone's meeting at Will's house. Gotcha. Daggummit. We're going to sneak Shirley into my party whether I like it or not. <laughs> Alright. We're going to go to the item shop. <clears throat> and stock back up. Oh, I guess I only use like one thing. Oh, hold, holy bottles. <clears throat> uh, I guess I can see if I can customize anything. What would you like to customize? I need a red saffron and a bomb kuchen. <clears throat> well, actually, I have all the stuff for that. Sorry to keep you waiting. Go ahead, Jay. Gita staying in Moses's and the others bandits former hideout. Just like old times, Geet knows what's up. Considering the danger involved, I haven't investigated inside the hideout. Just knowing the place is enough. Thanks, Jay. What did I tell you about that? You're really making me ill. <laughs> hey. Okay, okay, that's enough playing around. Alright then, let's get going. You better come back with Geet. If we don't, I'm going to get mad. Heh, <laughs> guess Geet ain't the only one we need to watch out for. Alright, cool. I believe we can actually just duck to the bandit hideout, thank fuck, cause... I don't, I don't remember where on the world map it is. That's kind of the, the kind of bummer thing about the post-game just reusing lo old locations from the story. Is that some of them, you, you go like one time, and then it's like, the beginning of the game is like, I don't remember how to fucking get there. <laughs> you know, it's fine. It's, it's smart game design. If you're gonna have a post game, it's like reuse locations from the main game with new events. Bandit Slayer.
No doubt about it. Gates here. Of course he is. The information came from me, remember? Unlike you, I don't make mistakes. Oh, of course. We all know you're always right, Jay. You can't be nothing but perfect. I mean, you're Jay. You're making fun of me now, aren't you? What? You can't tell? Maybe you're not so smart after all. <laughs> I can't tell if they're getting along or not. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. It sounds like they're having fun to me. It's so nice to see good friends having fun together. Can I join in? Enough playing around. Let's get moving. We're not playing around. Yeah, he's being played. Ha <laughs> ha! And here I was worrying about you. You just say something? No! <laughs> Almost time, Geet. Almost time. You better be ready for this. You and me, both. This is gonna be the, the one story thing that like make, makes me genuinely cry because it's just some stupid guy and his fucking dog you idiot were you waiting here the whole time you must be freezing your tail off but you're still here waiting by me I bet you're hungry ain't you how about you and me get something to eat no wait let's get clean up first bath time hey that tickles cut that out stop <laughs> hmm I'm gonna need to fix you up with a name or something Oh, I know. From now on, you're Geet. <laughs> you like that, huh? Geet! Geet! Precious memories that bring you hope. In the world to come, those things are unnecessary. In the return to the void, memories hold no meaning. Oh, it's you. The shadow person. Oh yeah, the music in this place is just like jazz. I think that's the basement. Maybe? I don't know where I'm going. I'm just going. And this game's sound, sound like palette is very different. I've probably talked about it before, but like... This game got like a lot of like a foolish soul in jazz. Thanks for the help. Swallow dance. What are you up to? Flame blade. What are you looking at, huh? Worm run. Firestorm. Shiny storm. New moon rising. Ready when you are. Anti shield. Damn it! I can't just land it. What are you up to? Here, use this. That went tolerably well. Oh, thanks. Push-ups? Enemies here aren't too bad so far. I just don't know if this is the right way, because I just don't really remember. It might be, though. May maybe? <laughs> I don't know. There's so many of these, like, purple spots down here. I don't know if I'm going the right way or if I'm going like an optional way to get treasure. That interrupted the that interrupted I mean, the it's nice that there's anglers here at least because I need those stones still. seen that one yet it's kind of funny did you check out how awesome I am uh, yeah you are great <laughs> like I don't know if I'm going the wrong way or not like 
I probably could look up a map, but man. This one looks kind of tough. Use this. Swallow dance. Shield. Watch me go. Sword ring. You're my rising. Here, use this. Cheerleader help. What are you looking for? Sword ring. Demon Fang blast. Swallow dance. Eat this. Anti shield. Focus. Go away. Thunder arrow. Swallow dance. Cure. Good timing, Will. Firestorm. What are you up to? Here, use this. Shield. Worm rush. Swallow dance. What are you up to? Here, use this. Firestorm. First aid. Alpha Tempest. Star Ring Tiger. Go, go, go. Eat this. Looks like I got a little worked up. Are you sure? Oh, that's just a fucking purple chest. You know what? Fine, we already came this way anyway. Might as well. They're this fast, so watch yourself. Uh, we'll take them out this. in no time. New Moon Blade! Wombra. Shield! Fuck me, Kyber! Okay, it's just, just, it's just this one. Swallow Dan! Thunder Arrow! Here, use this! Shining Sword! What are you up to? First aid! Sword Rain! Sword Rain Demon! Maiden of Ice who sleep... Firestorm! This inside the forest, grace my enemies with your pure smile and offer them thy bosom! Final embrace! Sword Rain! Sword Rain Demon! Swallow Dance! Dark Force! What are you up to? Here, use this! Sword Rain Demon! First aid! I would never fall to the likes of you! Alright, Norma is now level 60 as well. I imagine that everyone's d b about done learning Eris now. Persian boots. Huh. Reduces all damage taken by half. Hmm. Yeah, we're giving Norma these because she just she's very she's very squishy. Looks like look like they're fucking Digimon feet. <laughs> I'm guessing coming down here is um, not where we need to be going. So I think this is the basement that we initially fell into when we first came here. Yeah, I probably just came the wrong way. Oh well. I'm, a I'm imagining that this is like the near the end of um, Moses' uh, character story. Hi, Ash! We are doing more character stories. This fish is a big dump truck ass. I'll, I'll explain more after this battle what's going on, because it's hard to really... Say, say much with it's so loud as all the combat noises going on. Fish destroyed. But yeah, we're in uh, we're in the post game character stories, and right now we're on uh, Moses' story, and he's a beast tamer, and he's about to have to fight his dog that he's known since he was like a kid. Cause his dog is like gone feral basically, and it's like, it's gonna be fucking sad. Let's be real. You 
Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm prepared to actually feel pretty fucking bad about it, honestly. Yeah, it's... Yeah. It's about to be... What is it? I'm gonna do everything in my power to reach out to Geet. But if I don't... But if it don't work... If you go in thinking it won't work, then you won't be able to go through with it in the end. Trust me, I was like that not too long ago. Senel. I understand what you're saying, Senel. I saw you that time, too. But this is my responsibility. You prepared yourself for the worst, too, didn't you? If we can't keep Geek from turning to wild, then I won't hesitate to kill him. Are you really okay with that? It's my weakness that made me bring you along, and this is how I'm going to deal with that weakness. If you're sure of yourself, then I don't have any reason to stop you, but... I don't want to give up until the very end. Isn't there some other way? Something besides killing each other? I've been thinking about it forever. Ever since I left the village. I've spent this whole time trying to think of a way to overcome Geet turning wild. But this day arrived before any answer did. I'm a beast tamer. I know better than anyone. I know that dealing with your own beast turning wild is like running headfirst into a brick wall. All beasts turn wild eventually. No exception. I've heard that phrase ever since I was a kid. I heard it so many times I got sick of it. I've seen it over and over again, though. People just run straight into that wall. I've seen too many people suffer with the decision to kill or be killed. I've seen it all. The pain and the sorrow. That's why I just keep praying so hard. I pray that there's a different way. Together with Geet. Then don't give up until the end. Senel. Think before you go feeling sorry for yourself. Look up. Look at us. Don't try to take on everything by yourself. Who do you see in front of you right now? It's us. If you feel responsible for getting us involved, then live up to that responsibility by saving Geet. I won't accept anything else, you hear me? I'd be so sad and lonely without little Geet. Besides, Red, you're forgetting something really important. What am I forgetting? You're not the only one who considers Geet family. I know you're stupid, but I hope you can at least understand that much. You just can't keep quiet, can you? I swear. So no more moping around being depressed. Geet will snap out of it, we just smack him good, right? I think that's being a little optimistic. <laughs> yeah, that's how I like it. Alright, let's get going. Alright, let's beat up a dog. Oh, we got a puzzle. Yay. Puzzle room, puzzle room, puzzle room. Alright, well... This seems like a pretty simple block puzzle, but I got a feeling it's not as simple as it looks, even though it looks very simple. The music in this dungeon is really jazzy and like an el like elevator music, I kind of like it. It's weird for a Tales game to have music like that, but like... Alright, so we, we definitely got to go over. Hmm. Is that block just a de it might That block might literally just be a decoy. We're going to pretend that it's just not... It's just to throw us off. Because there have been some puzzles in this game. Oh, wait. How do I get blocked there? Oh, never mind. I'm a fool. I know what I need to do. Come on. Push the block. Yeah, there's a little more to this puzzle than what initially seemed to be the case. I'm going to push this here just to kind of get it out of the way. Hmm. My, my, I'm trying so hard to use my big, use any sort of brain. Not even, not just a big brain, any brain. <laughs> hmm. Because that block's got to go down, but I have to, like, be able to get it down there. At all. 
Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I, I had a feeling this puzzle is a little more complicated than just like push three, push like a block and you're done. That seemed a little too easy. But I gotta get, a, I gotta get that block down there. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Yeah, that's not gonna work because you can't go diagonal on these blocks. Damn it, block puzzle! You're not. You're gonna. You're gonna make me think a little harder, aren't you? Hmm. Okay, so one goes there, but then we need one like here. I haven't pushed any blocks to make them fall or anything, so I don't think I've messed up a puzzle just yet. But I, I don't also just don't know. Just not missing anything, am I? Hmm. But there's nothing else I can push. Hmm. Good <clears throat> <It> bonk. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta jog the old memory. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I, I, unless there's like some, unless one of these blocks is like disguised as something, which, I mean, the game hasn't done anything like that yet with the puzzle, but I really want to put it fucking past him. They have that little dip in there. <laughs> hmm. I'm not missing nothing, I don't think. Hmm. So I can use the two blocks to make a little bridge to get over to this thing, but then I won't be able to get over there. So I'm running into an an, an issue with that. Hmm. No, no, I don't. Doesn't seem like I'm missing something. Just something feels. It feels like I'm missing something very important. I don't know what this even does. I, I, what does that do? <laughs> what? I don't think I've literally ever had to use that for one of these puzzles. Hmm. There's not any like little hidden back way I can run around either, is there? Cause some of them have had that like where like it's it's like very cunningly like hidden that you can like go around a certain way. No, the game's still playing with its within its own rules right now, so hmm. Hmm. It just doesn't seem like enough blocks and I can't Hmm. I have a, bra a small brainwave. It might not amount to nothing, but
Because now I'm back in here. But the problem is I can't get this pushed over any. Hmm. Because this is where one of the blocks was originally. Hmm. Because I can push one of these blocks in there and then run over here, but then there's nothing else I can do. Hmm. The answer to this feels really obvious, but I'm just not seeing it. Like, it feels like one of those, like, oh, I should have fucking known that. I'm just double checking to make sure there's none of these I can push or anything, because the game hasn't done that yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if I'm throwing something like that in post game just to fuck with people. Hmm. Because it seems so simple, but, like, hmm. <laughs> Fucking progressive ads, like, oh yeah, baby. Now, what are we gonna do? What's wrong? I figured it out already. Would you like me to do it? For, would you like for me to do it? No, I'm not gonna make you. I have not had to do that for a puzzle yet, and I don't anticipate doing it now. Because this is how the puzzle is at, at the base form here. I don't- I know this probably isn't gonna do anything, but we're gonna do it anyway. Now we can get over there and wobble over there, but I don't think we can actually go anywhere with that. We can't just like jump off. That would make too much sense. Yeah, like there's nothing we can do there. That doesn't do anything. Hmm. trying to think of a, the, a way to get this block where I need it to go. Ooh. I think I have an idea if it works this way. I think I think I just fucking might have figured figured it out. God damn it. I just figured it out. Son of a bitch. I, I can't believe it. It was literally that. Are you fucking kidding me? It was, I, like I was saying, it's got, it's something fucking really simple. And it's gonna hit me like a ton of fucking bricks. And, <laughs> fuck you game. <laughs> it's literally, it was literally pull a block backward. Cause you like almost never have to do that shit at all. Like, <sighs> are you fucking kidding me? Game really just said, hey, Hey, dipshit. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta look at things from a different perspective. Fuck you, game. That was a deviously simple puzzle that I was just like, like, you got me good, game. You got me good. Whatever. <laughs> Fuck six. I was like, wait. <laughs> I can't believe that. That's amazing. 
Kudos to the game for pulling fast one on me like that. I was like, I, I, I was like, I know I'm missing something fairly crucial, cause like, it, this puzzle does not look that fucking hard. It's just a matter of usually you like push blocks into position. You don't pull them into position. It's like, oh. Because usually you push them to get them where you want them to go. You don't pull them. Is Geet here? Geet's asleep. Or something. Geet! Spot, you're hurt all over. What happened? Geet, did you do this to yourself? He has chosen to die rather than to fight Moses. Geet, stop! When someone goes near him, his wild blood takes over. There's nothing we can do. This is horrible. Geet, I know what you're feeling. Red, stay back. We feel the same way. You don't gotta suffer no more. It's okay now, Geet. You done good. He calmed down. Way to go, Red. There's no need to struggle against the thirst that seethes within your blood. <laughs> Geet, what's wrong? Oh, Geet was fucking possessed. By the shadow mist or whatever the fuck it is. The black mist, is that what caused Geet to turn wild? It seems that there is some link between the monsters growing more powerful in this matter with Geet. Then it's too early to give up. Right, if we could just do something about the mist, maybe Spot will go back to normal. Feel the urges that fill your body. You must satisfy them. Struggle not against your thirst. Roar! That voice. Is this part of Geet's dream? Looks like he still loves me. This isn't the time to get all mushy, Red. Spot's about to let loose. Well then, I guess we'll just have to take that evil spirit out. Oh, it's Shadow Moses time. Probably Geet too. Uh, this one yep. Uh oh. Final embrace. That's that's gonna hurt. That hurts. Um. All right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to destroy Rabbit Geet first and foremost because he's doing he's doing some nasty fucking spells. All right, Norma, you're gonna just need, probably just spam freaking revive honestly because we're getting smacked around a little bit. Uh oh, this could get bad, cause while we're over here fighting the Shadow Geet, the Shadow Moses over there is like trying to is interrupting spells. Uh oh, yeah, this is gonna get get nasty real quick, like. Uh-oh. Jeez. Okay, this might be a pretty hard fight, actually. I mean, it's a boss fight. It's supposed to be, but, like... Oh. Well, Caster's basically just got killed. That's not fun. <laughs> Okay, I guess I'm just gonna have Will just try to do um, single target spells and distract freaking the geet. <laughs> the geet. Here, use this. Tiger Tempest. Guardian. Cure. Because this is a little inte more intense than I was expecting to be. They they've kind of ramped up the freaking difficulty on these. 
don't take your eyes off it. Eagle Rising, start bringing team in. Cure. All right, now we'll have Will use a life bottle. A Norma. I gotta manually control them because they're not doing exactly what I need them to be doing. Oh, Moses is doing something unfun. I'm gonna have to use a lot more items <laughs> this battle than most, cause. Yeah, that spell fucking sucks. <laughs> God. Well, it's a good thing I have a lot of items. Cause, jeez. Okay. Now we've got them in a corner. This should be a little easier if I could keep them in the corner. Oh shit, Chloe's about to die. What the hell? Uh, lemon gel. Never mind. Norma. Use a lemon gel on Chloe, please. Okay, what? <laughs> they keep queuing up spells that full heal someone, and I keep doing it early because we're about to die. Worm 
Well, that was a that was a rough boss fight, but it's basically over now because well, there's only one enemy left. Norma, where are you going? Go away. Alright, we won. Whew. You call that putting up a fight? Oh, well, we got some stuff. Let's see what happens now. I guess it's like the end of Moses' story track. And sadness will ensue. Geet, that's enough. You done good. You don't need that imposter. Look at me. I'm here. Trust me. I'll trust you too. I'm right here. Right here. This should stop Geek from turning wild. Great news, huh, Red? But the Black Mist appeared again. This is no coincidence. Yes, it would be prudent to assume that someone or something is behind this. But is this even something someone can do? There are beings in this world beyond our imagination. Don't tell me you think there's something like Nerefest controlling the mist. I know it's a bit far-fetched. My head, not again. One shrouded in black mist, that which is not. Grun? I wonder what she mean what that means. Do you know something about the mist? Oh, I can't remember. G girl, are you going to start talking to the to the air again? Yep. Ta-da! Gnome is here, at your service. Oh my, you're a lively one, so your name is Gnome? You just had to bring that up, didn't you, Norma? Now she's really doing it. <laughs> It's not my fault! Indeed, Gnome is eternally lively. Oh, just like Norma. She's talking about you. <laughs> oh, you don't say. Norma, Gnome, your names do sound kind of similar, too. Hey, hold on, you seem way different from before. Oh, really? Aha! Gnome knows. Gnome, gnome, gnome gets what's up. Yeah, this place hasn't matured yet. Oh, yes, of course. Gnome wants to take a little snooze until his turn comes. In that case, why don't you rest inside my urn? Oh, that sounds awesome. Master, you're such a doll. Gnome is so looking forward to Master's power being released. Yeah, there's more to her than we're being told. I wonder what that was all about. Don't ask us. <laughs> hmm? There's a seed inside my nerd again. This one must be Gnome's seed. Like she's got to be some sort of like minor deity or some shit. Just kind of hanging out with normal people. What if God was one of us? Just a slob like one of us? You've been oddly quiet. We're done here. Let's go on home. Moses? I can't take Geet back with me. What? Red, have you lost it? No matter the cause, all this trouble taught me something important. Sooner or later, Geet's gonna turn wild. No, putting it like that's just hiding from the truth. Geet's already started to turn wild. Sander, you can't mean... Even if I say things will be okay, there's no, nothing to back that up. Even if I set Geek get free in the mainland, once he turns wild, it's only a matter of time before he attacks someone. There's no place Geek can live where no one will ever see him, or he won't cause no trouble. So, what do you plan to do? Geek and me know what we have to do. I can't... I can see it in his eyes. Wait a minute. Are you two really okay with that? Me and Geek decided this for ourselves. We don't need you interfering with our own business. You can't be serious. Geek, don't hold back. Survival of the fittest, right? Isn't there any other way? Is this really how it has to end? I appreciate how you feel, Sonal. We both know we were loved. Moses! 
Ready to go, Geet? It's been a while since we fought for real. Stop this, please. Um, I'm awfully sorry to interrupt when you're all excited and stuff, but... What do you want, Bubbles? I apologize for disturbing the proceedings. We have a suggestion. Can we ask you to listen to it? A suggestion? How about letting Geet live in the Quiet Lands? There's nobody there, right? And it's big enough, too. Um, of course you guys thought of that too, right? It's far too prominent a place for you to have forgotten. Just now, the fighting thing. That was all a really, r really big joke, wasn't it, Red? Y yeah, totally. Though, I do seem to recall Sunny and everyone screaming like little girls. <laughs> Your performance was so realistic, it had me completely fooled. You all looked like you were about to cry. Okay, Norma, that's enough. Well, I guess it doesn't matter since it was all such a superbly acted joke. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. You're sweating an awful lot for a joke. Man, oh man, you people. Well, admittedly, I forgot about that too. <laughs> I guess that's an option. A place where literally nobody lives. The dog can live there. Why not? Oh, we're still gonna get some tear jerks, th some tears though, because they have to say goodbye to each other. We're gonna get a pretty cutscene, and that's gonna be real sad. Jay, I got a favor to ask you. How can I help you, Mr. Stupid? <laughs> now listen up, you. Oh, fine, whatever. Hey, don't get all calm and relaxed. How am I supposed to react to that? <laughs> to that? Could you cut off some of my hair? What are you going to do with it? I'm going to make a good luck charm for Geet. Alright, I cut some. Is this alright? Yeah, good job. Okay, there you go. An anklet, huh? Not a collar? An accessory made from the hair of someone you trust will protect its wearer. Yeet. I'm gonna just take it just a little bit of your fine mane here. Oh, pupper. Okay, now mine's done, too. Hey, you made it into a ring. You're pretty good with your hands, Moses. Let us take a little seed. Plant it gently. Water it well. Little seedling nestled in the ground. Grow up safe and sound. Hmm, somebody's completely oblivious to what's going on here. Haha, -ha, that's our groon. Goodbye, Geet. It'll be lonely without him. Harriet was quite fond of him, too. This is truly unfortunate. Everyone loves Geet. Live strong, Geet. Grow stronger than anyone. Awoo! If your wild blood acts up, remember me. Awoo! Remember how we met. Awoo! Remember when you protected me. Ah woo! Remember when you waited for me? Ah woo! <laughs> Remember when we played together? Ah woo! <laughs> Remember when we ate together? Ah woo! Remember when we bathed together? Ah woo! Remember when we fought? Ah <laughs> woo! Remember when we made up? Ah woo! Remember when, when, remember my voice, remember my words, remember my face. Ah, woo! And if that still don't work, then remember what I tell you right now. I swear upon this moment, someday I'll be back to see you again. So, I will never forgive you if you forget about me. 
You and me will always be together. Even if we're apart, I'll always be thinking of you. No. Ah woo! <laughs> never forget Geet. No matter what happens, never forget that. Oh, here we go. You always been my family, and you always will be till the day I die. Well, I was expecting more than that, but hey, at least they got, at least they they settled their thing. <laughs> Pepper didn't have to die. That feels a little better. Moses, are your wounds healing up? <clears throat> yes, but what about Geet? Uh, basically, um, I, I guess in this world, at least, whenever like Moses is a beast tamer, and not that, that the dog uh, Geet. Is like a really strong, like beast. But with beast tamers, uh, m uh, monsters don't remain tame forever. The deepest part of my body and deepest part of my soul. Me and Geet are connected. Is Geet alive? Of course. Do you seriously think I'd ever hurt Geet? Who was it again that was going about to killing Geet? <laughs> Why, well, if my memory serves me correct, I do believe it was Moses. Haha, <laughs> that's so long ago. I already forgotten all about it. Me and Geet will be together forever. He certainly has a, con a convenient memory. Oh well, this feels more like Moses we know and love. We're just getting started. Yahoo! See the title of Best Man. I would assume that would mean Beast Man, but Best Man works too, I guess. Oh, they're having a nice little picnic. Harriet doesn't cook very well, so. Everyone's just doing stuff. That's cool. Let us take a little seed, plant it gently, water it well. Little seedling nestled in the ground, grow up safe and sound. Can't wait till it sprouts. Time to eat, everyone. Come and get it. Eat at your own peril. Oh, the Orisorn are here too. <clears throat> they're just little, they're the little otter dudes. <clears throat> What's up with those two? I'd like to know myself. Hmm, the girls are hanging out together, huh? So what are you talking about? Don't leave me out of all the fun. It's our little secret, right? See? Yep, sure is. What's with that serious look? Cheryl, you just called her C, didn't you? Didn't you? I know you did. And you, see, you didn't even blink. <laughs> oh, now it's like you're reading each other's minds? Someone tell me what's going on here. It's gonna, it's a secret. Don't tell Norma anything. You're freaking me out. Oh, I am furious. How can you leave me out in the cold like this? It's not fair, see. I want to be close to Cheryl, too. Cheryl, you better start treating me the same way this isn't, or, I mean, pretty please. Come on, Cheryl, can't you do the same for me? But, um, aren't we already friends? I I'm not talking about that. I want a nickname. Hmm. I don't need one from, from you. I want one from Cheryl. <laughs> well, you certainly do make things lively when you're around, Norm. Oh, no. 
Yes, now I'm part of the club. Norma with a, 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 a G and like gnome. Norma. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just don't get them. Hmm? Something bugging you, Sentinel? Nah, more like something that was bugging me finally worked itself out. You mean them girls? At first I thought I had to say something. But now I realize that I was just for myself. I wouldn't feel like I was doing something. Some responsibilities are fulfilled by taking action. Others by standing back and staying quiet. I shouldn't interfere anymore. Look at that little musketeer hat. Alright, enough serious talk. Here, Dad, eat this. Oh, no. I'm impressed you can eat that. It's worse than poison. Jay! <laughs> Just kidding. How is it? Is it good? It certainly tastes better than last night's dinner. See, I can do it if I try. So, I ain't feeling so good. <laughs> Shut up and eat. Be a man. Mr. Stark, I'm not feeling so good. <laughs> it was amazing the way he eats it without even batting an eyelash. The things I do for love. Oh my, it's delicious. Will's not the only one who's amazing. Here's my next creation. Open up and say, ah... Uh, Jay, you better eat up quick before it's all gone. You really don't want to miss out. <laughs> Come on, Jay. Open up and say, ah. What the hell are you doing? Taking care of my family. <laughs> Don't be creepy like that. <laughs> what was that, Jay? I didn't hear you. You're looking lively, Jay. Isn't it fun to be together with everyone? It makes us so happy to see you being so cheerful. I bet we can thank Senna and the others for that. Now that you mentioned, he has gotten a lot more human than he was in the old days. The old days. Oh, it's Jay's story next, I bet. What? You want a piece of me? Who gave you permission to rest? Oh, this fucker. It's the guy we saw in town earlier in the stream. Get up. Uh... For whom do I do all this? F for me. That's right, for you. You were abandoned and I took you in. I'm even training you so you can work. Yes, sir, it's all for my sake. The train is if your life depended on it. I have no need for someone who will betray my expectations. Y yes sir. If you truly understand, then ready yourself to fight. Your training will not stop until you have mastered every last bit of it. No wonder Jay's the way he is. He got a fucking abused. Yo, Jay. Yoo-hoo, Jay. Little miss, would you be kind enough to bring me some of that fine home cooking? Here you go, Jay. Open wide. Ugh. What? Are you trying to kill me? Jay, would you care to look me in the eye and repeat what you just said? Hey, everyone, listen up. What's all the fuss about? Take a look at this. Oh, yeah, today's a star festival. Star festival? Hmm? These scallops don't know about it. We're not scallops! Tell him, Teach. 
Star Festival is a festival in which people write their wishes on leaves and let them flow down rivers and springs. Does something happen when you do that? Well, it's said that the wishes will come true. Cool! Of course, there's no guarantee that they actually will. Not cool. <laughs> when the festival first started, they probably believed pretty strongly in it. It's a very old festival, not much is known about how it began. A wish on the water, huh? Senel. They may have been entrusting their wishes to Nerefes. That's what I think as well. So anyway, we just write a wish on a leaf and th put it in the water, right? Yeah, it'd be fun. Let's all do it together. I don't have any wishes, so you'll excuse me if I pass. Yeah, Jay's been abused. Jay, wait! What's this deal? What a stick in the mud. We'll just do it with, with whoever's interested. It'd be fun if we for it wouldn't be fun if we forced anyone anyway. <clears throat> May the world be at peace. That's always my favorite wish. That's our Jigar, always thinking big. What did you write, Dad? May the dinner table be at peace. <laughs> Wait a minute, what's that supposed to mean? What did you write, Harriet? Here. I'm going to make Dad enjoy my cooking. That's more of a statement than a wish. <laughs> What'd you write, C? May also live a happy life. Aw, you just have to be Miss Goody Goody, don't you? Boring. My turn. May Geet be healthy and happy. Heh, <laughs> all your wishes are nothing compared to mine. So what did Miss Not Goody Goody decide to wish for? Hook me up with a drop dead gorgeous bod. What kind of wish is that? Don't sound so disgusted. It's a really serious problem for me. I haven't been growing at all lately. I'm not asking for a G girl level, but a but a C at least, so to speak. Leave me out of this. <laughs> Besides, if you're gonna shoot for someone, surely it would be Groon, not me. <sighs> what? This is why I hate dealing with amateurs. You don't get it. You don't get it at all. Do you have any idea what it's like to be flat as a board, huh? It ain't easy, you know? Uh, G-Girl's beyond human. She's the ultimate work of art. A miracle to behold. In the realm of the gods. Do you think I could win against a god? She's like every man's dream. You know what I am? I'm every carpenter's dream. <laughs> so me and my pancake get to shoot for something more realistic. That's you and yours, see? So shut up. Even I know there's no way for a girl with mosquito bites like me to match G-Girl at this point, short of the Everlight, and that's way gone. You should really take pity on the less endowed, you insensitive clod. How can you not understand the ex complexities of the female heart, see? Unbelievable. Uh, alright, alright, calm down. How can I possibly calm down with you standing right there in front of me? You, you... <laughs> I wish I were like Chloe, too. Surely, not you too, but... No buts. So, as I was saying before, you people went and made such a fuss. This is my only wish. I'm sure yours is pretty similar, huh, Shirley? Mine, um, well... What did you write, Shirley? D -d don't look. S sorry. Despicable. I'm sorry. I won't ever do it again. Forgive me, please. What did you write, Senel? Yeah, what did Senel write? Here's mine. May I always be together with my friends. Sheesh, you're just like Miss Goody Goody. Boring. <laughs> my wish. It's better to be together with everyone. It's more fun that way. They're all nice people. Nice people. That's why it's hard for me to be around them, because I'm the only one that's different. Despicable brother. <laughs> brother! <laughs> yep, we're definitely going to be going to like some sort of J...
story next, I guess. Got like 14 minutes, so we'll probably get into whatever the next story is, but then we'll have to end stream. Pretty good hustle, though. We did the entirety of Moses' character story in one stream. Uh oh. Earthquake! Did he fall off of his bed? Senel, it's morning. Wake up, please. Senel, it's morning. Time to wake up. Just kick him in the ribs. I wonder why he's sleeping on the floor. Perhaps that's his way of staying healthy. Or maybe he's just stupid. <laughs> Good morning. He's got a bed and everything. Why was I sleeping on the floor? There was a pretty big earthquake last night. So perhaps he fell. That's not something people normally sleep through. <laughs> not normally, no. So, what's up? It's pretty unusual for you to come and wake me up. I don't quite understand myself, but apparently it's my turn. That's what Norma said. When did they start taking turns? <laughs> now that you're awake, we should be on our way to Mizze's house. Mizze's house. It seems she wants to talk to us about something. I think her house is in like the top right corner of the town. So we'll just head this way. We'll save. If you could get out of the fucking way, get move move. <laughs> Hydrate! I gotta finish some of my coffee. I'll how's that? <laughs> Hope you're doing good today, bud. This we are in post game doing character stories, which is pretty cool because like it expands a lot more on characters than most tales of games do. And honestly, I feel like characters are, like the most important part of the games. To me, they are like the character dynamics have to be like good, and this only like expands on it. So I'm perfectly fine with that. All right, what's going on? Oh, these two fuckers are here too. Why are they here? I'm sorry to have troubled you all like this. Not at all. Has something happened? Not yet, but it might soon. That's ominous. You gotta give us more info than just it might happen soon. Tell them, Isabella. A certain group of assassins has infiltrated the legacy. What? Assassins? We've received several reports in the last few days. I don't like the sound of that. Let's get rid of those guys pronto. That's easier said than done. These particular assassins who appeared in the legacy are the worst kind. What, some sort of special forces like the ones in Vaclav's army? No, worse than that. They're ninjas. Oh, fucking ninjas! Uh-oh. Yep, it's definitely Jay's story. Ninjas? Ninjas? <laughs> ninjas! Ninjas. What's a ninja? <laughs> Are you serious, Red? How am I supposed to know what a ninja is? Ninjas are assassins who hide in the shadows and act only for the sake of their mission. They cast aside all personal emotions and focus on nothing but the successful execution of their orders. Kind of like Jay. That's our Jay. Jay, he knows everything. <clears throat> what makes ninjas so fearsome is that they don't even value their own lives. They'll sacrifice themselves without a second thought if they deem it necessary to complete their assignment. Kind of like Jay. Whoa, seriously? Yes, what Jay says is true. Ninjas are like machines. They're no longer human. Jeez. So, some country hired them and sent them here? 
They're quite adept at keeping secrets. We still don't know who it is that hired them. What do you what what do they want? Is there someone they want to kill or something? Moses, your idiocy knows no bounds. Have you already forgotten what Vaklov did? He demonstrated the threat the, the legacy presented to the entire world. Now that everyone knows the legacy is a powerful weapon, every country out there wants to get their hands on it. Or at least to prevent anyone else from doing so. We haven't seen any signs of that kind of activity yet, but if anything, the fact that makes it all the more suspicious. In all likelihood, every country in the world has been preparing in secret and keeping a close eye on the situation. Vaklov's actions thrust the legacy into the spotlight, and it became difficult for anyone to make any moves. We believe they sent ninjas in order to avoid taking action out in the open. I won't let them use the legacy for war. Senol. That's the spirit, brother! Let us fight! For love! I ain't gonna stand by and let them do as they please with my home. If they wish to make use of the legacy, they'll need the power of the fairness. Oh yeah, people will be after Cheryl again. Heh, <laughs> bring him on, we'll protect her. Don't worry, Cheryl, as long as we're with you, everything will be fine. Settle down, you two. You shouldn't underestimate ninjas. That goes double for people who don't think before they act, Moses. Always got to get the last word in, don't you? <laughs> what a lively group. Is this why you called us here today to tell us about this situation? That's not all. There's also something I'd like you to do. It seems some suspicious figures have been spotted coming and going around the area where the Oris Soren village used to be. As you well know, where there's smoke, there's usually fire. Could I ask you to look into it? It's highly probable that that's where the ninjas are hiding. Which means this may be a little more than just scouting around. The people spotted there are in fact ninjas. We'd like you to determine who hired them. Now I think I understand why you called us. Is everyone all right with this? They might be after Shirley, right? We can't just ignore that. Family's got to look after out for each other. Yes, Moses, family. Family, huh? I guess that makes Will the old man and G-Girl the mom, huh? Hmm, but G-Girl feels more like an older sister. Oh, I'm fine with being the mom. Oh, God. No, you're definitely the older sister. But I'm still the old man. Well, sure, you've got a daughter, right? You're already, you already are somebody's old man. Ugh, fuck. It's hard out here. So I guess this is the story of the old man and the seven kids. Norma. My, you seem like you're having a good time. <laughs> Madam, please don't encourage her. <laughs> Alright, uh, then. Time to hunt some ninjas. You know, once in a while, you could at least pretend to act seriously. <laughs> The Guardian and the Guarded. Yep. I, 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 I figured it was Jay's time. Senny, you used too many items. It's not like I had a choice. We needed to use them. We should plan our usage more carefully from now on. Exactly. Hey, by the way, pass me a gel. I am worn out. Were you even paying attention? <laughs> money, money, money. I love money. <laughs> Stop goofing around. I had to say it at least once. You look like you want to say it a hundred times. Hey, so what if I do? Money, 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 money. <laughs> There haven't been really that many skits in this game compared to most other Tales of games, but 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a mood. Money, money, money. I love money. <laughs> oh. The characters in this game are real good. Like, the plot wasn't anything, like, the plot of the main story wasn't anything super, like, fantastic, but who cares? It was a fun, it was a pretty, it was a, it was a decently told story. I mean, everything's been done before, who fucking cares, right? Not every game can or really probably should have, like, this, like, Grand Bitter King, it's never been done before story, because that's just unrealistic. Because it's always, it, at some point it's all just going to be a rehash of something that's happened before anyway, so. Just tell a story. As long as it's told well, you know, who cares? Alright, uh, let's see, we have any... Items are all purchased. So we are going to... I'm actually going to leave town and like go to the Orosaurin village and save outside of it so I know where I need to be. To get to the old Orosaurin village, we'll need to pass through the secret passage. Alright, we'll save right here. And that is where we're gonna call our stream for today. Let's put the thingy up here. Alright, well, thank y'all so much for coming by and hanging out as I continue more Legendia post game. For context, almost every single Tales of game I've played up to now has not had a post game. So, Legendia is very different in that case, too, because it's always been like, oh, you can do New Game Plus, but now it's like, no, there's more game, more more stuff, and so, I like that, it's different, and it expands m more on the characters even more, so, it's great, I'm having a good time. But hopefully, we'll get through it, and I can start Tales of Arise whenever I, c I get to that. But anyway, that's going to be the end of the stream for today. Uh, tomorrow, at, like, at 8, because on Wednesdays I take an extra hour for myself to, uh, like, just take care of myself. And, um, yeah, tomorrow we'll be continuing more Breath of Fire on the GBA. Can't remember exactly what we were doing, but I'll have to look, I'll probably look at, like, a walkthrough and figure it out. But, yeah, that's tomorrow at 8. So, if you're interested, yep, hop in then. If not, I'll see you next time. Uh, let's see... If I can find someone to raid real fast. Let's see. Um, i take a look at this other Discord I'm in. <clears throat> eh. Let's, we'll go ahead and we'll hop off for now. So, yep, I'll, if, I, if, you, if you tune in tomorrow, I'll see you then. If not, I'll see you next time. You have a wonderful day.